Warning folks, there was a new lava dome discovered in the summit crater of the Alaskan volcano and some explosive activity there last night. Had a 3.3 yesterday in Manitoba. You guys get those all the time, right? Somebody stole a radioactive device off of a truck in Northern California. Apparently that's only uh, dangerous to the person who stole it. There was also a nuclear vent in Southern California where they think they have a leak there. There was an explosion at a police station in Sweden and just north of the UK. Uh, they have uh, an oil spill that is getting worse day by day. Uh, in contrast to the heat wave we've been having in the United States, it is very, very cold in Europe, uh, the Middle East, India, uh, even in Russia. It's now uh, reaching all the way down to Oman. We had an explosion last night in Syria, and finally the bird flu has made its way to Sri Lanka, as has been feared. Folks, we did have a little bit of a blackout from the solar wind telemetry from ACE. Uh, I can tell you that nothing serious happened there other than the fact that uh, our solar wind density is a bit higher than normal. You can come check the NICT and you can see uh, they don't quite have a, a full video yet for today. They won't have that until uh, the end of the day UTC, but you can go back and look and uh, I have and we didn't really have anything major. But as I did say, the solar wind density is high. It's starting to create a little bit of a horizontal disturbance here on the Fluxgate magnetometer and you can see the temporal variations have Earth's resonance somewhere down there just south of 1 hertz. Uh, but we are resounding a bit from the extra density. Moving on to the critical frequencies in the F1 layer, folks, and uh, let's let's take this out for a month. Just uh, give us a quick little update on this. You can see it's pretty pretty steady, except for last week when we got smacked with all that space weather. Uh, this is the predicted values uh, for the last month, and as you can see, there's nothing there. Let's take it out for the year, folks. This is what the critical frequencies uh, in the F1 layer should look like over the entire year uh, predicted. And this is what they have looked like over the last year. And just to give you a frame of reference for this, uh, let's take it back to the last solar maximum, which was predicted to be uh, much more violent than this one. Uh, last solar maximum, uh, believe it or not, this is actually higher than uh, some of the uh, years uh, before and after it, but just nothing compared to what we have now. Folks, looking at this uh, solar active region coalescing right there, it's uh, sort of distorted its little ring shape, but uh, in doing so has gotten a lot more magnetically complex. This is something we should definitely watch out for as time goes on. Chance it will be beta gamma by the end of the day. So other than that, folks, uh, we do have uh, this coronal hole-like feature that's going to be pointed at the Earth here today. Uh, probably got two or three days until we get hit with a solar wind stream from that. Do have that dark magnetic filament on the top uh, right of it. And over there to the left, we, that's where that uh, solar active region is coalescing. So that's the news, folks, and keep an eye on those uh, critical frequencies in the F1 layer. Be safe.